it's Katie and welcome to my corner of the world. Today I have my two helpers here with me. Emily! And Andrew. Andrew. Oh, and they're here because we have our February Universal Yums. Um, now if you've watched my channel before, you know this is, is the box that we wait for uh, from month to month in, in complete anticipation. We love us our Universal Yums. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to see what country we're going to and what snacks we got this month, come join us. Welcome, thank you so much for spending part of your day with us. My name is Katie and on my channel I do all kinds of unboxing, subscription boxes, mystery boxes, boxes from Etsy. I also do a lot of hauls of clothing, beauty, lifestyle, food, you name it. If you have shopped for it, I have probably hauled it. If that sounds good to you, please consider hitting that subscribe button, that red button right there underneath Andrew, completely free and it would mean the world to me. Also, turn on that bell notification right there next to the subscribe button. That will let you know when I have any new content going up. It will also let you know about any giveaways going on. Any active giveaways will be down in the description. So, yeah, uh, we've been, been excited for this since it arrived yesterday. It's our February Universal Yums. Universal Yums is a monthly subscription and it is a snack box. Now, the way it works, though, is that uh, they curate snacks from a different country a, every month. And, and this month, we know already, is Ukraine. And, but last month was the Netherlands. It was pretty good. Oh, my gosh. That was probably one of our favorite boxes. Mm -hmm. They also have a yum shop where you can go buy things that you really liked in your box. And we bought a ton in the mm -hmm. yum shop from last month because mm -hmm. we loved it. And I think we end up getting most of the snacks we eat now as a result of this box and not so much at, at our own grocery store. So there are different boxes that you can get. You can get the yum box, which is five to seven snacks. And that one is $14.97 a month. You can get the yum yum box, which is what we get, which is 10 to 12 snacks. And that one is $24 or 97 a month or you can get the super yum box which is is 18 to 20 snacks and that one is 37.99 a month and so oh you can get it a little cheaper if you go for or more months then um i did sign up for an annual subscription so that i locked in in a price base that was a little bit lower last year or so Oh, plus we know we love this box, so mm -hmm. oh, getting the annual subscription for us was a no-brainer. All right, let's get into and it. And they also said that only some people are going to get a pink box, and we got a pink box! Yes, yes. normally the box is blue. Mm -hmm. Oh, they did have a red box for the holiday box, uh, but normally every month this is like a blue. Mm -hmm. Oh, they did have a special little pink, pink box, box this month. And, and Emily, it's my favorite color. Emily's super excited to get the pink box. <laughs> Andrew is like, where's the blue box? <laughs> okay, so let's open it up and see what we have. So yes, we did go to the Ukraine. It looks cold there. Yep. Like it has a bunch of thing on top. There's this um, on poster thing. Yep, on Ukraine. top is a mat at Welcome to the Ukraine. So it kind of shows the countries around it, Poland, Romania, uh, and then different points of interest within the Ukraine. And uh, uh, one for where they do the Ukrainian Easter eggs, eggs, coffee houses, all kinds of things that they're known for. On the back of this one, it lists all of the snacks that you have in here, and you can rate them as delicious, excellent, and okay, or I did not need that in my life. Hey, you can also vote on your favorite, the uh, worst, first, and the weirdest. Yes. And then you can vote on upcoming boxes. I will go Germany. Yeah, they have Germany, Belgium, and Hungary here. Germany, that's Germany. like the only one I kind of know a little bit yeah. about. And uh, there's the educational booklet good, that gives you the nutrition facts and tells you about the country and has trivia. Uh, I was looking at this. I did sneak peek this as as yesterday, and and 
they had some really great interesting things in here including thing they have a yum maker highlight which i had never Ooh. noticed before i need to go back and see if i can find any other boxes as this is the gentleman who makes one of the yums that is in here all right they also they add a sticker every month and this one says this v-day i found eternal love with the ukrainian yums all right well, let's see if we find eternal love with yums. ukrainian yums oh. Um, the book also that Andrew had, had will show you so, a little bit more about each of the yums. So let's get in here. No. <laughs> Emily's it's already saying no. Is it like some kind of like potato chip? Yeah, they even chip? make it spicy. Yeah, I don't like it spicy. Is and it's a huge spicy. bag. Spicy. Um, so it's shaped snacks, oval with flavor of veal and adika. I'm guessing the Adika is whatever is spicy. Okay, um, let's see what they say about him here. Time for another hot commodity, oh no. Adika. This punchy paste made with red pepper, garlic, and herbs and spices like coriander and dill well, originated in, in Georgia, the country, not the state. Okay, but it spread to the Ukraine and locals made it their own by adding a <laughs> heaping helping of tomato and using it to add spicy flavor to veggie a veal and everything in between. Hmm. Okay. okay so this next and one? if we don't like these and they're too hot, yeah. guess who will eat them? Who's gonna eat them? Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> he Bob. loves spicy he stuff. He loves spicy. This might be his box. <laughs> the next one sounds right up my alley. They call it Bonnie Fruit Summer Mix, and on the back it says the Summer Mix Mixed Fruit Flavored Jelly Sweets. Ooh, those sound yummy. Mm -hmm. And the way we'll do this, we'll pull everything out, kind of tell you about it, and then and once everything we get everything unboxed, uh, we'll each pick one or two items to try. Next one. This one is better than the bag that I tried to read because it has uh, Ukraine on one side, but then English on the other. Oh. So now oh. we can read it. And what are they? It's golden chips potato uh, with flavor of wasabi. No! So to go with our adjika, uh, spicy chips, no, we now no. have wasabi chips. Wasabi? They, Ukrainians can handle their spice. Exhibit A, one of the most popular alcoholic mm. drinks. Horlika. Uh, literally burning water. <laughs> Is often infused with red hot chili peppers. There's this yum. Um, um, these long rectangular chips might appear delicate and thin, but don't be fooled. They're speckled with an incredibly strong, ridiculously hot wasabi flavor. Flavor. So, uh, <laughs> they're not pulling any punches here, folks. Okay. Even the anyway. So next, I have two things that are both by Polis. Polis. One of them is a chocolate coated wafer ball with almond, and the other one is the same thing except with caramel. Yeah. The chocolate, we have a chocolate bar. Oh, Shen. This is, ooh, creme brulee it milk chocolate milk bar. Milk chocolate bar with uh, cream. Oh, you got our. A yum bag. They always send you a yum bag with either like tiny hard candies. So, let's see what this is. Oh! Whoa. So, we have a fizzy boom, and it looks like it comes in different flavors because the packaging is different colors. Fizzy citrus, citrus. candy. Bursting with Ukrainian lime, orange, and cola. So, I think this is the lime, this is the orange, and this is the cola. Yeah. Nice. Anything else in there? Just those. Oh, no. There's much more. Oh, our, wow. We're filled up this time. Next, we have... Minky Binky. Oh, the filled toffee. And they oh. are also different colors. Apricot, strawberry, blueberry, and orange. And fruit juice filled caramel toffees. Oh, we got, we That's got, interesting. I think we got mango and strawberry. How about apricot and strawberry? Apricot. Okay, and then there's one more snack. They are... Those are the juice-filled fruit jellies, pink grapefruit, juicy cranberry, and more. Hmm. Okay, so we got a pretty big bag. Yeah, our yum bag is pretty filled. Next chocolate from Roshan. 
Oh, Sharon, that sounds very that's good. Big. Caramel bubble chocolate. Caramel it's bubble white, white chocolate. chocolate and caramel. It says the champagne of Ukrainian chocolate. One of the world's largest confectionaries, Roshen produces over 450,000 tons of treats every year, from chocolates to caramels to jellies to biscuits for cakes. Makes the Willy Wonka-esque mastermind behind it all, Ukraine's former president, and Petro oh, Poroshenko. Now, in 96, long before his presidency, he, he started Roshen, quickly earning the nickname Chocolate King. Very interesting. Okay, so next we have homemade bread chips with garlic and the rye wheat bread chips. Those sound delicious. They sound like they wouldn't be like a potato chip. They'd be like a mix between a potato chip and bread. They sound like a crouton. Yes. And garlic, roasted garlic rye chips. Mm. At Riddle Time, this young's package is a reference to Ukraine's most popular food found on bakery shelves in iconic brown paper bags. Do you know what it is? Drum roll for you. <laughs> it's bread. Oh, I'm, I'm stupid. Ukraine is one of the largest grain exporters in the world. The country didn't get the nickname the bread basket of Europe for nothing. The secret behind the local bread bounty? Super fertile black soil, which produced over 82 million tons of grain in 2019 alone. And it is literally stitched into the Ukrainian culture. The country's yellow and blue flag symbolizes golden fields under a clear sky. A wow. I like that they're like putting some of the like interesting facts yeah. right in here. And this is actually the one and that is the highlight the maker that they highlighted. Next thing, which is also from Rochet. Condensed milk cream cakes. Creamy, mm -hmm. rich, and drizzled with loca cacao. That sounds delicious. Um, and we have one last thing in here. That sounds very delicious. It is a toffee creamy mm -hmm. deluxe. It looks like little bits of. It looks like um a um chocolate bar, but toffee. Soft Ukrainian toffee and velvety cream filling. Thing. So. Okay. So. I okay. Think we have a couple of spicy things, and we have I think a couple of we sweets. We have to be a trooper and go with the wasabi chips. Okay, I like how it opens. I like the little uh -huh. lion. Ooh, okay. He's cute. Lion's cute. Okay, let me get it open for you. He will make up for the. He'll make up for the spicy. I don't know yeah. about that. Okay. Yeah. Woo! It just smells spicy. Oh! <laughs> I think I'm getting my decision here. Oh my gosh, my eyes are like starting to water. <laughs> I haven't even given it to her yet. Okay, a little bit. They look, they're very thin. They're very thin. They do have like a little bit of a greenish hue ah! to them. Okay, ready? Three, two, two, one. one. Not too bad. I'm getting a little bit of the wasabi on the end, but not bad. Mm -mm. I'm this is what they call spicy. I'm not, I'm not impressed if this is what spicy is. A little with all these cooking in, but not too much. Yeah. I would eat that. I, I mean, my husband's not even going to taste the spice in this at all. I'm still going to get it. Okay, one. Andrew. What's yours? Um, well, now since if that wasn't spicy. Oh my gosh, it's such a big bag. Well, Dad, you'll be happy. Chip for you? Oh, wait. Well, they look like normal for you. shell you. chips. They, they smell like odd smell. They smell like hot dogs. All right, let's they try. do kind of smell. Um, I got the spice again. They have weird flavor. Mm. But I'm not getting spice. I actually kind of like them. <laughs> she would when and and both the holiday box and the box from England last year we got. Uh, potato chips that were like a meat and something flavor. I don't know why, but we we seem to like meat flavored potato chips. The little oh, the bag. The little bag. <laughs> so let's get this open. It's a little paper bag. But then it does have a plastic bag inside. They look like meat croutons. Yeah. A little. Okay. Mm. 
Mm, it tastes like a crouton. It tastes like a crouton. Mm -hmm. I definitely, it's rye bread with garlic. That would be great. I think, you know what these would be really good in? You guys, maybe not so much. They'd be good on a salad. They'd be good in like a creamy soup. The chocolatey coated with, coated? Chocolatey coated wafer bar with caramel. Smells pretty good. You see a teeny yep. bit. Well, they're whoops. both dog. You see a There's teeny bit of caramel. Yeah. So Emily's showing you that. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Yes. You get a hint of caramel. That's good. What she said. You do. What you got next for us? Fruit. Take like the orange. orange so this is what the uh, jellies. These look like. Oh, I think like it's a, mango. The I'm fruit jellies. It's orange, but yes, it's this kind of smells a little like strawberry. It looks like a pear. Yeah, so I'll pear. try the pear. Okay. Oh, those are soft. Mhm. Mm yep. Those are good. Mhm. Mm you have to like fruit jellies. I don't know what fruit jelly is. Just like the fruit jellies like your grandma might have had or you can get at the store. You have to like fruit jellies, but that pear, you do get, you get a strong taste of pear. You can tell it's made with real fruit. I think I have to go with this one mm -hmm. as the champagne of chocolate. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Oh, wait, what? I don't see caramel. Yeah. So it has all of these little bubbles. Ooh. I mean, they said it was bubble, but... Okay. I'll try it. It is definitely bubbly. Oh my, that smells like caramel. Yep. Mm -hmm. Kind of tastes like white chocolate. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. It's white chocolate of you. Mm -mm. Okay, let's end this one a, a high note. What are we going to end it on? Should we try one of these? Mm -hmm. Minky Binky, and I think this is a pop. I was actually, I wanted to go for one of the fizzy, the fizzy booms. Oh wait, this is orange. <laughs> Here's what the cola fizzy, fizzy boom looks like. Uh, fizzy oh, you're going to do the fizzy orange? Okay. <laughs> oh, I thought it was, but he was like, woo! <laughs> oh, I need another one of these. Oh, they got like a liquid in it. I'm like the center. Oh, weird. Yeah, fizzy boom, boom. Oh wait, now I'm getting the fizzy. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's, it smells like Coca Cola. I made another one of those food jellies. Yeah, now I'm getting the liquid. <laughs> it's like almost like pop rocks in there. They're weird. That is it. That was the Ukraine. I mean, better than we thought it was going to be, actually. Yeah. Much better. Those Especially spicy ones, yeah, were not nearly I'm as not spicy. Really happy with spicy ones. I wanted something to be spicy. <laughs> he wanted more spice. Okay, that is all we have for today. Let us know, have you had any of these? Did you get your Yum Box yet? Right. And what were your thoughts on it? Until I see you next time, have a great day. Bye. Bye.